again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. Now, recently, I did a tutorial on a shawl with the same stitch. This is the Diamonds and Cubes stitch. So I did a shawl and I was intrigued, can I do a square? And lo and behold, here you go. Um, now it is slightly different than the shawl with some of the chain counts, which is very important. And I discovered this uh, because if you use the same sort of chain count with the square as you do with the shawl, the corners develop faster. And as a result, the sides have a tendency to pucker inwards and the corners grow out faster. So with some slight tweaking, I figured this out, really, really happy with it and delighted to be able to show it to you. Now, it is ultimately really quite simple. It is only a two round repeat. Um, it's so simple and it works up pretty darn fast. Now for this particular piece, which I'm still in the process of working on, I used do, 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 Karen Big Cakes. Now this is in the colorway of Blue Macaron. And after using about two skeins, my square blanket was about 45 inches, roughly speaking. Now there is quite a bit of stretch with this stitch. Um, so about roughly 45 inches square after two skeins and the, the specs on this yarn. Okay. So it is approximately 603 yards. Now the thing about square blankets is that ultimately it's a bit of a yarn hog because as the width grows, the length grows. So if you want a really long blanket, you're gonna end up with a really wide blanket. Now, these are great for baby blankets, for throws. However, if you're trying to cover a bed, I would suggest do a rectangular blanket instead. But these are fabulous blankets and I do love them so. Now, uh, also it is 100% acrylic. Uh, so it is machine washable and dryable. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but I always like to let you know what it is that I use in case if you want to duplicate the results. And so I had a third skein of this available, so I decided to keep going. So I'm not done with it yet, but you know, at two skeins, about 45 inches square, and I'm just gonna keep going until I run out of the third skein. At any rate, Today we are going to be using, this is Red Heart Super Saver in the Ombre, lovely violet color. And we are going to be using, do do do, a six millimeter size J crochet hook. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so round one, going to be starting with a slip knot. There we are. Now, what you can do is you could do a magic ring method. You could chain four and slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring. Honestly, I like this method better where we're going to do our uh, stitches into that first chain. So we need a total of eight chains. So I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the three chains here counts as a double crochet and then a chain four space. And we're gonna work a double crochet into that first chain. So what this amounts to is two double crochets separated by a chain four space. So chain four, one, two, three, four, double crochet into that same chain. Chain four, one, two, three, four, double crochet into 
the same chain. And chain four, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to just cinch my tail a little bit. There we go. So into the third chain from the bottom. So this is where we connected. So one, two, three, and then we'll still have one, two, three, one, two, three, four chains for the chain space. So into the third chain from the bottom, slip stitch. There we go. So I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain from the bottom. There we go. And that is the end of round one. So basically it's four double crochets separated by chain four spaces. Okay, round two, we're going to do some clusters. So starting off by chaining five, one, two, three, four, five. And into this chain four space, we need four double crochets. Now the chaining of five counts as a double crochet and a chain two space. So into the chain space here, four doubles. One, two, three, and four, chain two, and double into the double. Chain two, four double crochets into this chain space. One, two, three, and four, chain two, double into the double, chain two, four double crochets into this chain space. And that's, you know, essentially what we're going to be doing for the rest of this round. And so this is what I like to call sort of a, a cluster round. The next round is a chain round. And it just alternates back and forth between the two as we keep going. And once we get ourselves established into the repeat, you'll be good to go. So we did our four doubles, chain two, double into the double, chain two, four double crochets into this chain four space. One, two, three, and four, chain two, and then to finish up round two, into the third chain from the bottom, one, two, and three, slip stitch. And that still gives us this chain two space. And there you are. So that is the end of round two. All right, so round three, we're going to be doing a a chain round. So start by chaining up five. And again, that's going to count as a double crochet and a chain two space. So one, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet into the chain space. Chain four, one, two, three, 
four, single crochet into the next chain space. Okay, now over here we chained five, so that's a double crochet and a chain two space, right? So going to do likewise at this corner, so chain two and double crochet into the double. There we go. Chain two, single crochet into the chain space. Chain four, single crochet into the next chain space. Chain two, double crochet into the double. Chain two, single crochet into the chain space. Chain four. Single into the chain space. Chain two, double into the double. Chain two, single into the next space. Chain four, single into the next space. Chain two, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. So one, two, and three, slip stitch. There we go. And so we've got a chain space, a double, a chain space, single, chain four space, and so on and so forth all the way around. So that is the end of round three. Okay. Okay, round four, chain up five. It's always chaining up five, regardless of whether it's a cluster round or a chain round. So chain up five, one, two, three, four, five, and into this chain two space here, four doubles. One, two, three, and four, chain two, single into the chain four space, chain two, into this chain two space, four doubles. One, two, three, and four, chain two, double crochet into the double, Chain two, untangle your yarn, four doubles into this chain two space, one, two, three, and four, chain two, single crochet into the chain four space, chain two, four doubles into the next chain two space, there we go, one, two, three, 
and four, chain two, double into the corner double, chain two, four doubles into the chain two space, Okay, one more. Chain two, single crochet into the chain four space. Chain two, four doubles into the chain two space. One, two, three, and or chain two, double into the corner double, chain two, four doubles into the chain two space, one, two, pull out some more yarn, three and four, chain two, single crochet into the chain four space, chain two, four doubles into the chain two space, and we are almost done with round four. So that's one, two, three, and four, chain two, into the third chain from the bottom, slip stitch. And there you go. Ta-da! Now what I really like about this particular piece is the sort of wavy edge becomes more pronounced as you keep going. And I think it makes a really great self edging piece, but we are going to keep going. So let's get to it. Let's go to round five. Alrighty, so rounds five and six. Now that we have ourselves established, rounds five and six are really going to be the repeat for this blanket. So round five, it's going to be a chain round. So starting off, chain up five, one, two, three, four, five, and into that chain two space, single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the chain two space, chain four, single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four, single crochet into the next space, chain two, and double into the corner double, chain two, single into the chain space, chain four and single all the way across. So chain four, single into the chain space, chain four, single into the chain space, chain four, single into the chain space, then at the corner, chain two and double into the corner double. chain two, single into the chain space. So it's at the corners, that's where it changes. But when you're going across the, the sides, it's chain four, single in the space. So chain four, one, two, three, four, single in the chain space, chain four, single in the chain space, 
There we go. One, two, three, four. Single in the chain space. And then at the corner, chain two and double in the double. Chain two. Single in the chain space. Chain four. Single in the chain space. Chain four. Single in the chain space. Chain four. Single in the chain space. And then chain two and slip stitch to the third chain there we go and there you have it now if you prefer this look to your edging yes you could end on a, a row five personally i think that ending on a row six looks a little bit nicer so let's continue Okay, round six. Well, we just did a, a chain round, so now we're going to do a cluster round. So start by chaining up five. And four doubles into the chain two space. And, of course, links to the original stitch, which is basically just going back and forth, back and forth in rows or the, uh, you know, the, the shawl tutorial. Yes, links to those will be in the description box down below, as well as, of course, timestamps for this project. So after chaining up five and four doubles in the chain two space, chain two, single into the chain four space, chain two, four doubles into the next chain four space, okay, that's three, and four, chain two, single into the next space, chain two, four doubles into the corner space, one, two, three, and four, chain two, double into the corner double, chain two, and four doubles into the other corner space. One, two, three, and four. Okay, working on the next side, chain two, single into the chain four space, chain two, four doubles into the next space. So we're essentially creating a lacy checkerboard. Because ultimately you have these open squares here, and then you have the solid squares. Hence, diamonds and cubes. Okay, so after doing your four doubles, chain two, single into the next space, chain two, four doubles into the corner space, Alrighty, more yarn, K 
Okay, check. Chain two and double into the corner double. Chain two, four doubles into the corner space, the second corner space. That's two, three, and four. Thank you. All right. Chain two, single into the next space. Chain two, four doubles into the next space. Chain two, single into the next. Chain two, four doubles into the next, the corner space. There we go. Chain two, double into the corner double. More yarn. There we go. One more side to go. Okay. Chain two, four doubles into this next corner space. Chain two, single into the next space. Chain two, four doubles into the next. Alrighty, chain two, single into the next, chain two, four doubles into the corner space, one, two, three, and we have a knot, of course. Come on, come on. Thank you. Okay, so I've got three. I just need one more. Chain two, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. There we go. And that is the end of round six. Absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. Mm. Now, because I like to be thorough, I'm going to do a repeat of rows five and six for you. Well, for two reasons. One, I like to be thorough. Two, I like spending time with you guys. So... Let's do another repeat of row five and six. And that, I think that should do it. But you know me, I just, I like to do what I do and this is what I do. So let's get doing. Alrighty, so round five for the repeat. Before we do this though, I wanna show you something. If you want to change colors, which, hey, that's totally fine because this could be a great stash buster. If you want to change colors, I would strongly suggest doing it uh, for the, the chain round, okay? Personal suggestion. So to do that, or any round for that matter, what I would suggest doing is when you are finishing up the previous round, the, the round six, 
after chaining two and counting up to the third chain, instead of doing your slip stitch with your working yarn, grab your new yarn and slip stitch with that new yarn. There we go, like that, yep, yep. Okay, and then put your tails aside and do your chaining up of five. And continue on in that fashion. This is my personal suggestion. Take, take it for what you will, but that is what I would do if you are going to change colors. Now, I'm going to continue working on with the purple, but I wanted to show you how easy it is if you want to change colors. So I'm going to undo this blue bit here, and we will continue on with the purple. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with some different colors, if that is what you are of a mind to do. Nothing wrong with that. Variation is fun. So I'm just going to do my slip stitch here, and we're going to do round five. Okay, so for round five, it's going to be a chain round because we just did the solid round. So we're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, five, single into the chain space, then chaining four, single into the next space, chain four, single into the next space, chain four, single into the next, and so on and so forth until we reach the corner. There we go. And now that we're in the corner, chain two, double into the corner double. Chain two, single into the next space, and work your next side. Chain four, single into the next, chain four, single into the next, chain four. Single into the next, chain four. Single into the next, chain four. Single into the last. And since we're in the corner, chain two and double into the double, chain two, single into the next. Okay, yet another side. Chain four. Single into the next, 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 chain four. Single into the last, that corner space, then chain two. Double into the corner double. Chain two, single into the next. Okay, one more side to go. 
Yeah, so these rounds, they really, really, really fly by. I love them. All right, chain four. One, two, three, four. Single into that next one, chain four. And again, chain four. Single into the next. Chain four. Single in the next. Chain four. Single into the last. Chain two. And then slip stitch into the third chain. And there you go. Now, if you wanted to change colors for the, the solid round, you would finish up this slip stitch that we just did with your new color like I showed you before. Either way, you know, I, I do like to give you guys options. So let us do round six for the repeat, and that should do it for today. Okay. Last but certainly not least, Round six for the repeat. Okay, so again, we just did our chain round, so we need a solid round, but as always, start off by chaining up five. One, two, three, four, five. Four doubles into that chain two space. That's three and four, chain two, single in the next, chain two, four doubles in the next. And this is, in my opinion, a great piece to work on, uh, you know, for popping on some movies, some Netflix or whatever, and just sort of having a meditative, mindful moment. All right, so we did our four doubles, chain two, single in the next, chain two, four doubles in the next. Yeah, I, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I really like the, the patterns where you can go on, as I call it, autopilot, and you can just sort of create something beautiful without having to agonize over the pattern. So after your four doubles, chain two, single in the next chain space, chain two, and in the corner, chain two space, four doubles, and then chain two, and then double in the corner double. So I got my three and four doubles, chain two, and double into the corner double. There we go. Chain two, four doubles into the corner double. There we go. Chain two, single in the chain space. Chain two, four doubles in the next. Chain two, single in the next, chain two, four doubles in the next. There we 
here we are chain two single in the next chain two into the corner space four doubles chain two and double in the corner so i have my three and four so i got my four doubles chain two double into the corner double chain two four doubles into the next corner chain space There we go. And do another side. We've got two, is it two more sides to do? Yeah, we got this. Okay, so chain two, single in the next space, chain two, four doubles in the next, Chain two, single in the next, chain two, four doubles in the next, chain two, single in the next, chain two, and then into the corner space, four doubles, chain two, and double into the corner double. And I messed up my plies. There we go. Ta da! Okay, one more side to go. Now, honestly, I would say my watching flip flops between watching movies and uh, watching people play video games on YouTube. It's most of my YouTube watching, aside from the news. All right, so chain two and four doubles in that next space actually it's what got me started doing a uh, gaming youtube channel myself because i like to listen to people playing the games while i do my stitching i find it's you know entertaining but also it's great background noise so i got my four doubles chain two, single in the next, chain two, four doubles in the next, almost had it, there we go, one, two, three, and four chain two, single in the next, chain two, four doubles in the next. Chain two, single in the next. And we are almost there. Chain two into the corner, chain two space, four doubles. Chain two and slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom as per usual. Chain 
And there you have it. That is the end of the repeat of rows five and six. So like I was saying before, it creates a really nice sort of wavy scalloped edge. And it is beautiful. Hmm. Alrighty, my dears. So that concludes today's tutorial. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. Let me know what you think in the comments. And stay tuned for more. Hit that subscribe button because I do try to post often, whether it's crocheting, knitting, audiobook narration, cooking, origami, what have you. And uh, yeah, so listen, until next time, you know what to do, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.